say, oh, what's up, my little tattletale show? Come in, shut the door, pull the blinds down, and turn your phone off. You guys, remember how I said I was going to get to the bottom of things when it came to what was going on with Courtney and why she got married alone with only her grandmother and Travis's father? A lot of y'all said, that's just what she wanted. Kids weren't allowed. Out of, out of, out of this and a third. You guys know. Listen, new evidence is coming out. Rumors are coming out. And listen, I'll give you guys the plot. It looks like the reason that Courtney got married alone is a couple of things. One, Scott, you know, Scott had to be involved. He, people are saying that he is literally trying to turn the kids against Courtney and Travis's relationship. Two, Kris Jenner is basically putting her thumbs all over the relationship too. For one, she likes the drama between Scott and Courtney. Even though Scott is being really jealous and really toxic, Chris likes that. She thinks it'll be good for ratings. Courtney was like, you are not messing with my happiness for ratings. And she literally broke free and in an act of rebellion, got married. Now, why was her grandmother there? If you guys don't know, Mary Jane has been kind of like knocking if you bucking at Chris's control for a while. Don't forget, she was the person that posted Courtney Kardashian in her natural body. I know what you're asking, what picture? The one that they got pulled down in 32 seconds and Courtney, I'm sorry, not Courtney, Chloe had her lawyer threatening everybody. Chloe had her lawyer threatening everybody to pull an unflattering picture off. Now, if you think that that grandma did that by accident, maybe but a lot of people are saying was it was a big f you to chris you guys this is deep we have quotes let's get into this again this is all alleged but i want you guys to listen to the evidence and then let me know what you think tata tells is this a reach or is this smelling a little bit like the truth y'all ready for this let's go all right so listen, it's no secret. Scott thought him and Courtney were going to be together for years. Yes, he was a functional addict. Yes, he treated her like crap. Yes, she literally, we remember that episode when she cried because Scott flaked out on bringing, on coming to see the kids and taking them for the to the first day of school. However, Scott always thought that he had Courtney in his pocket. Why? Well, there were another a number of reasons. The biggest one, honestly, is Scott was rumored to always think Courtney held something out for her and that Courtney always held something for him is because she always wore Scott's favorite perfume. She put it on the pillows. She had it pumped in the air. She always wore Scott's favorite perfume, kind of like to remind him, don't forget where I am. And also to like kind of capture his heart. They said Scott, the first time he realized that something was wrong between him and Courtney and that she wasn't always going to be on standby is she stopped wearing his favorite perfume and started wearing a new perfume. Listen, and I bet you that new perfume was Travis's favorite. I mean, honestly, if you want my opinion, Scott should have gotten Courtney a subscription to Scentbird and then maybe they'd still be together. Oh, <laughs> you don't know about Scentbird? Well, listen, let me put you down on something. So what is Scentbird? Scentbird is a subscription-based fragrance service that is just changing the game for how you get fragrance, how you relate to fragrance, and how you find your faves. Let me tell you something. Every month, you get to pick out a new designer fragrance. Listen, they have perfume and cologne, right? I think it's so much better than how I used to do it, which is going into Sephora and begging for samples. And get this, since you get to pick out exactly what you want, there's no surprises. So let me show you guys what I got this month because you guys, they put me on to a new favorite. One that I never thought I'd like because I usually hate florals. They smell like throw up on me, right? I wonder what uh, perfume Courtney wears. She seems like she's like me, like something warm, sandalwoody. I don't think she's a floral girl too, but so it comes in this right here, right? This cute little canister. You just twist it up and look, it has the fragrance. And you guys, they're not stingy with their fragrance. This is literally a 30 day supply of fragrance. This is actually my favorite one too. It's the Stem Dot by Malin and Goats. I'll put the information down below. And you guys, when, mm, I love this. This smells like the warmest, cleanest floral joy, right? It's another one I got. Floral by Vince Komodo. I knew I liked this because my girlfriend actually has this. So yummy. It smells like vanilla mixed with cotton candy, which is my favorite. It reminds me of being at the fair with my parents. I love that smell. And then I got this one that I knew was going to be a hit. It's Oude Juice 
pure sugar and mm, 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 mm. it smells like cotton candy mixed with vanilla. As you guys know, I love it. Listen, make sure to use my code TSATELS55 at simpbird.com for 55% off. Do you know what that means? It's usually $16, but if you use my code, you get $7 for your first month. Listen, it's for the USA and Canada only. I know I have title tells everywhere. Your girl is working on getting more. Anyway, enough about my fragrance dreams. Let's get back in to Courtney and see how Scott is literally trying to sabotage and use the kids against her. <laughs> let go. But let's get into Scott's plot to actually break them up by turning the kids against them and how Chris Jenner's been playing into it, right? Now let's get into this. Scott thinks Courtney and Travis's Barker's PDA is awkward and embarrassing. No thanks. Scott Disick has no desire to relieve any of his on-screen moments with his ex, Kourtney Kardashian, and her new husband, Travis Barker, especially if PDA is involved. I think that Scott's sitting there like, damn, that used to be me, smelling like Kourtney's new perfume, thick in the air, just sitting there hating from the sideline. They said, of course it's awkward for Scott. A source exclusively tells Us Weekly about the flip it like this alum's feelings when it comes to filming with the Kardashians, right? And filming with, um, sorry, and filming with Travis and Courtney. He doesn't take time to watch the full episodes and why should he? He doesn't need to. That's the last thing he wants to do. Relive awkward moments of him, Travis and Courtney. He's lived through it already. The insider continues. He showed up and he gave the cameras what they wanted. And at the end of the day, he's getting a nice paycheck. Now here's the thing. When you're saying he's giving the cameras what he's wanted. Again, Kris Jenner is executive producer. I think Kim is a producer too. You literally have to think, right? Why would you have the ex forced to be in a room with cameras while Courtney is making out for man. And I get it, Scott did a lot to Courtney and Courtney's finally happy. So why wouldn't she flaunt it in Scott's face? And why would she have to tone down her happiness? Now, people are saying she's not doing it to annoy Scott. She's doing it as an F you to Kris Jenner because Kris Jenner is the one that is forcing Scott to be in those scenes. And sources, listen, rumors are saying, this is alleged that Chris is hoping there's some type of blow up that Scott goes back to like 2014 Scott where he was shoving hundred dollar bills in waiter's mouths and on some look if you buck you know you remember Scott like you remember Scott anyway Scott is on the straight and narrow right and he has not gone but I'm sure with Courtney she sees exactly what her mom's go going at now let's get this right they say why Scott might be making bank from the hit Hewley series, the source notes that it's still hard for him to be around his ex and his new spouse. They said he turns away anytime he's around them and they're making out. It's embarrassing and Travis and Courtney act like no one's in the room when they're together. Scott's all about PDA but would never put any of his exes in such an awkward position. Scott, you had Courtney crying on camera about your new umpteenth time you cheated. Shut up, Scott. Like, like, shut up, Scott. We remember you. I like Scott. I think Scott is funny, but shut up, Scott. You were horrible to Courtney. Now get this. Courtney and Travis, who officially tied the knot on Sunday, have not been shy about their physical attraction to each other, making out on red carpets, award show, even one in the wedding photos, right? However, the thing that sent Scott almost over the edge is the fact that they were making out with them in front of cameras. This was all Kris Jenner's doing. Scott said to be in the same room together is not a bad thing. It's a great step for everyone and we'll take time to figure out what makes sense, right? Scott says that he find, that he isn't the only one that finds the interaction awkward. Chloe admitted on Thursday's episode she felt uncomfortable when Travis would show, when Scott would show up. She said, it's so awkward for the other siblings of Bob. We don't know what to do. We're all just trying to be respectful of each other's new lives. Now get this, how this points in. Let's talk about this for a second with Chloe. Chloe, darling. You know what? I'll make another video about Chloe, but let's get into. This is the part about Scott trying to turn the kids. It's been a huge adjustment losing Courtney romantically. But now it's become a huge adjust adjustment losing his best friend. Scott said, now we are really more co-parents. I would say it was probably one of the more difficult things in my life. The funny thing is, right? 
when Courtney's kids were not invited to the actual uh, um, engagement, which I think is odd. And again, I think this is Kris Jenner trying to get drama, explosions, everything for the camera. Scott was also rumored to be at, like making their kids whenever they had any concerns about what was going on between their mom and Travis, her new husband. Well, back then it was her fiance. He wasn't exactly hopeful. Now, listen, do I believe that Scott is 100% turning the kids against the thing? No, but Scott is kind of heartbroken. Scott is salty. And I don't know, even the way Scott expresses anger for having a co-parent and the way Scott treats Courtney like she's the one that got away. I don't think, now this is rumors, but I don't think it's so far-fetched to think that the reason why the kids are reacting so negatively, allegedly, to Courtney and Travis is the fact that the daddy is still filling their head with fantasies that the mom and dad will eventually get back together. So when they see Travis and Travis is doing right by their mommy, they're a little bit confused because they're just like, mommy, you don't want to be back with daddy anymore? What's going on? Don't forget when this happened, the kids actually said on Keeping Up With The Kardashian, what does this mean? Does this mean like, this is my new father? Does this mean this pulling me away from you? What does this mean? Again, if Scott's been filling those kids with dreams that the mommy and daddy are gonna get back together. It seems why they would be so hurt and upset at the fact that their ma mom is in love with someone else that's not their dad. Again, I don't know what Scott's doing in this, but allegedly if it's true, he wouldn't be the first one to actually do this. I 100% believe the rumors about Chris literally putting Scott in scene. Courtney wants Scott to go away. We know that, right? putting them in scenes, hoping to see the fire get started. I'm glad, now it kind of makes me glad that Courtney actually broke free, did it on her terms and said, you know what? I'll sort everything out early, later. Let me just be happy and the rest is history. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments and also big thank you to Scentbird for sponsoring your girl. Listen, check out the links below and get you some of this good good. All right, y'all, talk to y'all later.